Hey friends, it has been one year since I finished the Google UX design certificate courses. I'm currently working as a UI UX designer at eBay. I love my job. I love my life. But looking back, I still think there are many things that I could do differently. So if you are taking the UX Google course, I want to share with you some tips to do so that you can get a job faster. So first of all, is the design certificate job guaranteed? Absolutely not. So let's say you take all these seven courses and you get a final certificate. Just by showing the recruiter that, hey, I got a certificate from Google, doesn't mean anything. All that matters is your resume and your portfolio, which means your skills and your experience. So if you are taking the certificate, please don't rush through it. If you rush through it and didn't take any note, you'll be forgetting everything and you won't have a good portfolio to showcase, which means it's very unlikely you'll get a job. Now, if you can't afford the certificate, I would recommend you to pay for the Coursera Plus because you can not only take this course, but also see all the other Google courses and all the courses available on Coursera. That's my current plan. And Coursera told me they are going to have a discount soon. So I will make sure to give you the right link in the subscription whenever there's a sale. But if you cannot afford the course, that's perfectly fine. There are two ways to go with it. You can either audit the course for free or you can apply for a financial aid. As a quick demo, we are in this page. Go to the financial aid available right here, and then you can continue applying for the financial aid. To audit for free, scroll all the way down and open up a specific course. Then click enroll for free. And at the bottom, you can see audit. Now, when I was taking the course, I went through every single step. So I didn't skip any activity. I didn't skip any project, which means I took seven courses in total. And then I had three projects to showcase at the end. But here's the thing. Now that I'm more experienced in the field, I realized that there's something I can do to save more time. Now, I would suggest you to take course one to course five very carefully, just exactly follow their plan. And also do a personal project from course one to course five. Don't skip any of the user testing, user research. Those are all very important. But for course six and course seven, I suggest you to look for real life opportunities while doing the course. The reason is that companies don't like personal projects. If all the projects in your portfolio are personal projects, you're unlikely to get a job. And your resume probably also will look like you dress up a few projects and don't have any real life experience or work experience. So how to get a real life project? The tip is actually um, networking, <laughs> not like going to those, you know, fancy networking event, but simply just like making friends online and see whether your family member needs any help with their, let's say, restaurant or something. Real life project pretty much means helping an actual business to design something and then actually make that thing out. And I will suggest you to read this book, which is Never Eat Alone by Keith Ferrazzi. This is the best networking or people smart book I've ever read. And I got all my real life experience through networking. Well, first of all, I use my strengths to start this YouTube channel. So some startups literally just come to me and be like, hey, can you help me with my startup? And I make sure whenever I feel like it, I go on dinner with my friends. And then my friends may have startup they want me to help with, or my friends may be dating somebody who has a startup that I can help with. So remember, real life project is important. After first five course, focus on real life project. Now, another thing that you have to keep in mind is that I think usually after you take the course, you'll be pretty good with the user experience design aspect. But most of the time, a company also look for user interface design. So a lot of job titles are UI UX designer. And even if the job title is UX designer, you might be still doing a lot of UI work. And practicing UI takes a lot of time. I personally have done UI before taking the certificate, so I'm not too bad at that. So if you are a graphic designer or if you went from like an art background or other design background, I think you will be good at this. But if you haven't done any graphic design or illustration work before, you definitely need to practice a lot of UI. And one thing I suggest you to do is just simply taking screenshots of good apps and then use Figma to try to replicate exactly what's going on on the screen. 
I am going to have a tutorial series on this. So if you want to learn more about UI design, check out this playlist I made for you. Now, in the Google certificate, it doesn't really teach you about how to make an online portfolio. I think it, it gives you some resources, but not like step-by-step -step process. So I also have some videos on that. Check that out as well. Basically just subscribe to my channel and then go through my channel. So everything I talk about, I've done some video on it. And in the Google course, it will ask you to do the, the slideshow for your portfolio, right? Those templates could be helpful. But the thing is that if you use the same template for every case study, it looks like you only know one UX design process. Different company has different design constraints. Your responsibility should also be slightly different across different projects. So technically, for different company and for different case study, you should be having slightly different process and you should be having slightly different layout in your case study. And yeah, there's no need to showcase everything. If you are designing a hundred screens, there's no need to paste a hundred screens right there. The key is to showcase what problem did you solve? How did you help the company to make more money? How did you make the user more happy? What challenges were you facing and how did you overcome those challenges? And how did you iterate on your design? What's the before, what's the after? So make your portfolio clean, short, to the point. And while you are taking the Google certificate, make sure to take notes, make sure to save those templates, duplicate them. Those are really, really helpful. Like for me, I'm doing some user research these days and just looking back to my notes and seeing those user research uh, metrics and then seeing those uh, methodologies are still helping me a lot, even in my today's work. So overall, I think Google certificate is perfectly worth it. And again, if you want to check out the course, the link is in the description below. But please don't take the course with the mindset that I'm just going to get this certificate. The certificate itself doesn't matter, but your skill and experience matter. I know it's super hard these days to get a junior UI UX design role, but I hope with the suggestion I had in this video, it helps you to get there faster. That's it. One year after Google certificate, I got rejected by Google, but I got accepted by eBay. And looking back, I've grown so much since last year this time. I am very, very grateful for what I'm having right now. And that is why I would love to share with you all the tips, all the challenges I went through so that you don't have to go through the same thing. And I will definitely share more resources about UX design, UI design, job, in my channel. So please subscribe to my channel and turn on all notifications. I will also share things in my Instagram. And if you haven't followed me on Instagram, it's, it's here, the Aliana's high. And I wish you all the best.